is it time to reveal your real magic and become seen, known and valued? Hi, hope you're having a great week. Um, hi, I'm Renuk and today we're talking about when money is a visibility block. So visibility can be a money block and money can also be a visibility block. So how does this show up for you? Um, one of the areas where I notice this coming up for me is when I uh, want to raise my prices. And I remember one time I'd created a program, I tested it, got great results and really wanted to increase the prices and did, but I could feel all of this fear about, around being judged uh, and particularly, you know, in the community that I'm a part of, it, it, there is kind of, you know, in your, in the conscious community, it can be seen as a good thing to want to help others and it can be judged when there's a certain price tag attached to that whatever that is for you in your mind, whatever that is in the community that you're in, we all have money stories. And the visibility thing is like, what are, will people think of me when I charge more? It can also show up as, you know, attracting people who want what you have, but don't want to pay for it or don't have the money. It can also show up as um, receiving money and bringing in money and then spending it all, investing it all in other programs and not having anything left for yourself. And it can go the other way. It can be, I'm bringing in money, but I'm too afraid to spend it. I'm too afraid to risk investing in something that will help me take it to the next level. And there's also a big collective um, piece around money, which I really want to address today, where we judge money and wealthy people as somehow not as good as people who are serving and are selfless and are not thinking about money. And that's you know part of the reframe that I want to bring to you today, if money is a visibility block for you or you notice it popping up. So what's your experience around this? Um, I'd love to to hear from you. I know recently I was, you know, a good few months ago, I was attending a training and there was suddenly a discussion about different ways to make six figures in your business. And this is not a new conversation, you know, it's, it's, it's really common. Uh, it's something, you know, I've explored over the years and, uh, but it was just popping up. Here are different ways to make six figures in your business. And I noticed my system going into freeze. I just noticed it's like, <gasps> that something is being triggered in me in this moment by this conversation. And I was curious about that. What is that? What is underneath that? Um, and when I got down to it, you know, later, I took some time to explore what was this part of me that's freezing around money. And when I dived in and got some support with it, what I discovered was that there was a, a memory in a story surfacing of um, being a witch or being accused, being working as a healer and being accused of being uh, a witch. And it was, it was in this story, it was like the, the, the money or the exchange for the healing work that I was bringing was used against me saying, oh, that's the evidence that, that she is a witch. Um, even though it's like, okay, these are the people or in my community who I've been healing, who I've been helping for years, and they're suddenly they're turning on me. And there was an association with that money created the lack of safety. So this stuff has all kinds of roots from all kinds of places, from your personal 
stories in this life to who knows where else it can come from. So just notice, you know, what resonates with you here. And, and one of the things that I've been doing to heal and up level my own story around money is I've been creating my own um, money mantras and money affirmations. And, and I want to share a few of them here with you because they've really helped me to reframe my approach to money and the collective story around money that's there in the collective whether you believe it or not it's there and we need to um, swim against that current and reframe it and uh, let me share some of those with you here and just notice what you feel in your body as you're hearing these words let them just wash over you like music like you would a poem and notice what they touch, let them touch, let what they touch. Money loves me. Money loves to ease my life, to bring blessings and become blessings in my hands. Money loves me. Money loves to ease my life, to bring blessings and become blessings in my hands. Money loves to support the wisdom keepers, the space holders, the transformation leaders and become a powerful light worker through our work. Money loves to support wisdom keepers, space holders, transformation leaders and become a powerful light worker through our work. Money has been waiting patiently for me to see its soul clearly so it can flow freely to me to support me in serving the world. Money has been waiting patiently for me to see its soul clearly so it can support me and flow freely to me, to support me, to serve the world. Money longs to be liberated from serving corrupt and toxic uh, industries so it can flow in life nourishing ways. Money longs to be liberating from flowing through these corrupt and toxic uh, channels and so it can flow in life nourishing ways. Money liberates me to liberate others from generational trauma, wounds and oppression. Money supports me and I support humanity with pleasure. Money supports me and I support humanity with pleasure. I love money. I am a worthy collaborator with the spirit of money. I know how to heal its centuries long wounds and turn it into sacred energy. I love money. I am a worthy collaborator with the spirit of money. I know how to heal its centuries long wounds and turn it in to sacred energy. I serve the soul of money by collecting it and putting it to clean use. I am the gateway for money to pass through me into good soul's hands. I am learning how to handle lots of money. I attract clean, sparkly, miraculous money and work miracles with it. I raise the vibration on earth by transmuting more money into good. Having money is fun. Money heals me energetically. And my clients 
do me a huge favor by showing up and allowing me to help them evolve. And when they hire me, we get to touch each other's lives and together we walk each other home. So just take a breath and notice what resonates with you here. What touches you? If you need to, pause the video and listen back and notice which affirmations, which money mantras are shifting something in you. And if that's powerful for you, I invite you to take one or two and bring them into your life regularly because we need to keep coming back, keep rewiring these old stories around money and recognize that actually when money comes into the hands of the space holders and the wisdom keepers and the people who will invest in transformation, will invest in ethical goods, will invest in food that's healthy and wholesome, you know, will invest in beautiful things that actually serve the soul of money, that raise the vibration um, on the planet. And, and see, it's like, oh, the more I can open up to receive money, the more I can be a channel for its transformative force and actually re-channel it from those toxic places into the life-enhancing places. And as I've been working with these um, mantras and just want to acknowledge these were adapted from ones written by Mariam Ibadahabi and um, shared by Simone Seal Grace uh, on her podcast. And I'll share the link in the notes below. But these really powerful uh, mantras were, as I was sitting with it, oh, I'm a worthy collaborator with the spirit of money. I can handle lots of money. I can, money brings blessings. I'm just noticing what needs to shift in my life, in my relationship with money. And one of the things that I was noticing um, that was a bit, you know, creaky for me, you know, not flowing so well is I, I needed to up level and, and put in place a new payment provider so that I could receive money because where I live, there's all kinds of um, complex European VAT laws and different payment systems and so it's like the, the payment provider I had wasn't meeting all my needs and all of my clients needs so that was like oh if I am a worthy collaborator with the spirit of money I can put the work in to research and put in place this payment provider and that this can be a bit stressful dealing with systems but it's a bit like oh I am allowing the channel to open more and other places it's like oh money wants to bring blessings and ease my life where am I receiving that where can I appreciate all the beautiful things that I have that money brought me and kind of go ah oh, let me associate uh, these positive associations that money brought me these beautiful things in my life and as it flows in I can invest in more of these beautiful ethical goods that ease my life that are bring blessings whatever that is for me for you and associating money with pleasure and just oh yes yes more of that and appreciating that and also recognizing that, you know, the service that I bring by bringing transformation to the world, by channeling money into good, it's like, oh, I can be really proud of that. So what are you taking away from this? What is it in your relationship with money that is wanting some more nourishment, some more attention, some more flow, and just and maybe just some more appreciation. So that when you shift your relationship with money, because I say this visibility is all about connection, connection with yourself, connection with source, connection with others. 
So when you up-level your connection with money, when you can give and receive money in flow, in abundance, with pleasure, with gratitude, it really opens up your capacity to receive and be visible on the next level. So share with me in the comments what you're taking away from this, what your insights are and your ahas. And if you would love to connect and do some deeper work on your visibility blocks, I offer the Visibility Superpowers Experience. And because I'm up-leveling my relationship with money and my new payment provider from January, the price of that for some people will go up because I will be charging it plus uh, the VAT. So if you're in Europe and you're not VAT registered um, and you're interested in having this deep dive um, kind of one-off plus a follow-up session with me, it's the results I'm getting from this are incredible. The value that people are getting from this is really incredible um so um ha check that out in the link below and come on over you could book it in december to get the 2022 prices and schedule it for next year so if that's something you're interested in so i would love to dance with you around visibility and i hope that you've received some beautiful insights into how you can grow your capacity to receive more money and even notice where money may have been a visibility block for you. Bye for now, hope to speak to you soon. Mm -hmm.